Hey, Jake Roy back here, 90s B-Ball Cards. So we've got a childhood favorite of mine. This was a, a set that I really loved, busting packs back in the day. And I've got a bunch of packs to open today with you. So we've got 25 packs of 99-2000 NBA Hoops. It's a Skybox product and, and kind of a, a lower end product that you could get for like a buck or two at like an old local CVS. So we're gonna go quickly through the odds, some kind of cool stuff we can pull here and some cool stuff that we'll talk about later. So starting at the top, you can get uh, a redemption pamphlet or booklet of build your own card, which is a redemption card that you could uh, have sent in. Those were one in four to get the booklets. And then also one in four are nameplates inserts. Then you've got calling cards at one in eight packs. Y2K crops at one in 16 packs. You've got autographics, which you can pull here, uh, which are one in 68 packs. So not the most rare, but not too common. You get Dunk Mob inserts, which are really cool looking cards at one in 144 packs. And then you've also got pure players that are numbered to 500 each. There's also a parallel, it's 100% pure, that are numbered to 100. But these are retail only packs, and the 100% pure cards you can only get in the hobby packs. So we won't be expecting to see any of those here. And then there's also a parallel set of the base cards that are called the starting five that are numbered to five each. So those are really rare. They're not even stated on these packs. Uh, and some people have you know, questioned whether or not they exist, but I have seen some. So they're really rare if you can find them and uh, pulling them is, is crazy, but maybe we'll get really lucky and, and pull some fire like that. So let's see what we get. All right, so we've got Vince Carter as a cover athlete. He was a big player. We've talked about him before, 99, 2000. So let's crack in. I'm gonna open two of these on camera and then we'll open the other 23 off the camera and we'll come back and, and share with you guys what we get. All right, so you can see here, that's what the base cards look like with David Robinson, we've got Pat Garrity, and it looks like we've got an insert in here. Let's see what we get. Bryant Reeves, Big Country. There we go, right off the bat. So that's a calling card, so that's Kobe Bryant. That's the best one you can get. Kind of a little bit of a plastic and uh, a die cut, so pretty cool. We go with a rookie, Steve Francis. He was the top rookie back in that time. Uh, he's not the top value card anymore, but he's still high up there. Anton Jamison. He's just sticking a little bit. Get here. Vitali, Celtics favorite. George Lynch. And James Cotton. Rashawn McLeod out of Duke. Uh, who's that? Marlon Garnett. No relation to Kevin Garnett. And then Matt Harperin. All right, so that's pack number one. Pretty nice there with the Kobe. So let's hope we get another fire pull out of here. There's no jersey cards that you can pull out of these. Uh, so I, I don't expect to see any variations in thickness on these or anything like that. Anthony Peeler. Kenny Anderson. Steve Nash. Early Steve Nash. Tim Duncan. That's nice. There's Lee Nalen. That's actually a rookie of Lee. Right, Chris Gatling. Sean Leonard. Allen Iverson, very nice, I like that. Rosho Nesterovich, Brian Russell, Felipe Lopez, and a Mike Bibby. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I get the fire? I... Oh, okay, let's review again. All right, that was a lot of packs. So we'll go through quickly some of the stuff that we pulled. We did pretty well compared to the odds. Um, we didn't get anything ridiculous like uh, a your players or an autographics, but that's all right. We weren't expecting to see those. Um, so we did get two of everybody's favorite, the, the checklist. And one that was pretty cool is we got the uh, autographics checklist. So um, yeah, that, that was kind of a cool one to see there, but those are essentially worthless. <laughs> so uh, we did get the Vince Carter. I always thought this was cool because the same exact picture that's on the front, which sometimes uh, they, they use different ones, but we got a couple Kobe's, uh, we got a couple Shaq's, and you know, KG, you saw the Iverson. So we got a number of star players, so that's cool. None of those are terribly valuable, um, but always cool to pull out a Hall of Famer or a star. You guys saw the Steve Francis that we pulled. Baron Davis is one of the more valuable ones, not a whole ton of value there. Uh, Ron Artest, Elton Brand was the number one pick. We got him as well. Um, so a number of good guys there. You guys saw that we got the calling card. And actually the only other calling card that we got was also a Kobe. So two Kobe calling cards, not gonna complain about that. Uh, that's always pretty cool to get. 
And then for the one Y2K crop, so we got Paul Pierce. So he was a big player for the Celtics. Um, so that's a kind of cool one. Again, not, not a terribly valuable set, but uh, definitely cool with the hollow foil there. And then we, we crushed the odds on the nameplates. Uh, so the nameplates were one in four packs. So, um, you know, we, we got 10 or 11 of those. So just gonna run through some of the cool ones. I always love the Iverson. The answer was his nickname, Gary Payton, the glove. Uh, David Robinson, the Admiral. You got Hakeem, the Dream. The Mailman for Karl Malone. Big Dog, Glenn Robinson. Kid, KG. I never really remembered people calling him uh, the Kid. I remember KG. And then uh, I was kind of laughing. The Future for Sharif Abdul Rahim. I never really heard anybody call him the Future, but coincidentally, I do think that if he was playing uh, in today's playing style, he would be a much more successful player. But uh, then going down to some of the PC items, so the Dunk Mob, this was one in 144 packs. So this is in my PC. So I always really like these cards. You can kind of see a hollow foil right there, um, you know, a little bit of a reflective, but Vince Carter was the guy back in the day. So to pull this card would have been crazy. I did not pull this back in the day. I acquired it later on because I really wanted it, but really cool cards there. Uh, the build your own card pamphlets. This is where I want to kind of dig in uh, and talk a little bit more. So we pulled a number of players. So Kevin Garnett is one of my side PCs. So I was really looking to get the Kevin Garnett or the Allen Iverson or both if possible. Um, but just kind of want to talk through really quickly what you could do with these. So you see, this is the Paul Pierce. We got Vince Carter, Tim Duncan, a whole bunch of guys. So what you would do with these is you'd open them up and inside they have instructions. You pick one front, there's three fronts here, and then one back. There's three backs. Uh, you put those in as your first choice and then you'd pick a second choice. And then they have an address here. You would mail a money order to that address to get the card redeemed. And then as supplies lasted, they would send you either your first option or your second option. If the case came up that you didn't get either one of those, they just send you uh, another card um, of the same player, but a different combination. So those, those could happen. Each combination was numbered to 250, but they only produced as many as were actually redeemed. So there's a chance that if you're a Paul Pierce fan uh, and you like one of the certain combinations, there's not even 250 of those. There are, there are some that are extremely rare. And, and the Keith Van Horn is one of the players that not a lot of people actually redeemed. So we did get one of his pamphlets. Um, his cards, if you can find, are extraordinarily rare. And actually back in the day, I did redeem one of his and I ended up selling it to a Keith Van Horn collector who was really um, you know, trying to find one. So happy to always help somebody with their PC when you get something that's really rare um, and you can kind of pass the love along. So wanted to share some of my build your own cards. This is one of my favorite sets um, because I have fond memories of redeeming these cards back in the day and then trying to obtain more. So this is actually an Allen Iverson. I redeemed this back in the year 2000 this is the same holder that it was shipped in. I still have the shipping packaging, uh, everything that, that came with this card. So this is something that I hold near and dear to my heart. Um, so this was, you can see one of the last ones that was made, it was number 243 out of 250. So really a cool card. And this was my favorite combination for the front. This is called the ball front by some of the card collectors of, of this set. And then uh, this is the head back. Um, so this was kind of my favorite combination. We're gonna, gonna show you some of the other combinations. So Vince Carter, if you're looking to get a card from the set, Vince Carter is the easiest to find, the most uh, affordable you can get these. I've seen them go for you know, $15, $20 or $30. Um, I have not seen too many go for anything more than $40. Um, so I wouldn't pay more than that. But uh, you can see some of the variation on the, the fronts and then we've got two of the other backs that you could get here. So you've got uh, you know, kind of a full shot of him and a little bit of the statistics, and then you've got a little bit of a smaller shot and then a, a little bit of a bio. So pretty cool stuff there. And then two of the other players that I have, so I've got a Kevin Garnett, I've got a Kobe Bryant, I've got a whole bunch of others. These are just a couple that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, and these both have the same back on them as well. So pretty cool cards, and these are really rare. Like I said, these are each numbered to 250, but the print run on these was dictated by how many were redeemed. So there's nine total combinations, but there's no guarantee that there were 250 of each of the nine produced. So if you're looking for a player and you can find them, um, you know, I would grab them when you can. And uh, like I said, the Keith Van Horn is really rare. Jason Williams is pretty rare. Uh, Paul Pierce is pretty hard to find. The same with uh, Grant Hill. But 
Vince Carter is really easy to find, uh, as well as Kobe. Shaq's a little bit more easy to find. Those are those were some of the more popular players. You have to think who was popular back then. Those are the people who were getting redeemed pretty quickly. All right, so I was a little long-winded there talking about the Bill Jones cards, but that's a set that I love. I'm, I'm passionate about those. So uh, I was really lucky to get some of these uh, pamphlets. I, I really wanted to get some of these. So my question of the day to you is, what are some memories that you have from redemption cards? I know that there are a lot of different variations of redemption cards uh, that have been in packs in various companies throughout the years. But what do you guys think about redemption cards from the 90s? Did you have any fond memories of redeeming some, getting some cool stuff back? Do you have any specific memories of build your own cards? Do you have build your own cards? I would love to hear uh, if you guys have any. I'm always looking to get more in my, my collection, but I know there's a lot of other collectors who love the build your own cards. I'm always trying to seek out uh, new ones to find for their collection as well. So kind of a lot of questions around the build your own cards and the redemptions, but uh, that's my question for you guys today. I'd love to hear your stories. So as always, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Give us a thumbs up if you like these. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see us do differently or any stories that you guys have. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, share this with a friend, and I'll talk to you later.